have two big developments with Russia and the space industry as of today. Number one, Vladimir Putin has fired the head of the Russian space agency Roscosmos, Dmitry Rogozin. He has now been replaced. We also learned that NASA and Roscosmos have signed a deal to share flights to the space station. We now know that Vladimir Putin has fired Dmitry Rogozin. He is known to be quite controversial and outspoken. Rogozin had led the Russian space agency for the past of five years. And he's extremely active on Twitter, especially during the wake of the invasion of Ukraine. He took to Twitter to post a lot about the Russian space program. He even got in major Twitter fights with Elon Musk, and Elon did not back down. As of just last week, Rogozin got into it with the US after pictures were posted of cosmonauts alongside pro-Russian propaganda. Apparently NASA took issue with this, rebuking Russia for using the International Space Station for political purposes to support its war against Ukraine. Rogozin responded that Russia would use the space station for anything it considers necessary and useful. Well, who will now lead Roscosmos? Apparently Yuri Borisov. He's a deputy prime minister who has a historic interest in defense. And on the same day, we've learned that NASA and the Russian Space Agency have signed a deal to share space station flights. This has been a long awaited agreement to integrate flights to the ISS. This will allow Russian cosmonauts to fly on US made spacecraft in exchange for American astronauts being able to ride on Russia's Soyuz. Roscosmos says in a statement, quote, the agreement is in the interests of Russia and the United States and will promote the development of cooperation within the framework of the ISS program. It will also facilitate the exploration of outer space for peaceful purposes. Now, the first integrated flights under this new agreement will come as soon as September. Now, these two space agencies previously shared astronaut seats on the U.S. shuttle and the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. Well, after the shuttle retired in 2011, the U.S. relied on Russia's Soyuz for sending American astronauts to the space station. This was all until 2020. That's when SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule changed everything. It revived NASA's human spaceflight capability, and that's when they started routine ISS flights from Florida. And side note, speaking of Dragon, SpaceX launched the 25th International Space Station resupply mission. Look at this. Engine ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launching Dragon on the 25th mission to resupply the International Space Station with cool science and a new advanced instrument to more effectively study our planet's climate. A Falcon 9 rocket blasted off Thursday. This boosted a Dragon cargo ship into orbit. Now, this was loaded with nearly three tons of supplies, equipment, and science gear bound for the ISS. Now, some of the research equipment includes a $118 million instrument. This will be mounted outside the station to study the mineral composition of dust blown into the atmosphere from desert regions around the world. And this will help us learn more about how those widely dispersed materials affect our environment. Also on board, some produce, apples, oranges, cherry tomatoes, onions, baby carrots, garlic, tahini, cheese, and dry sausage for the astronauts. And when the Dragon capsule returns to Earth in about a month, it's going to bring back a spacesuit worn by a German astronaut to determine what happened during a spacewalk in March when a small amount of water started to leak into the astronaut's helmet. Now, apparently Kikina is an engineer and the only woman in Russia's active cosmonaut corps. She is set to be the first Russian to fly SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule. She's actually been training for the mission at NASA's astronaut headquarters in Houston while this agreement was under negotiation. And the U.S. Space Agency has been quoted saying that having at least one Russian and one American aboard the space station is crucial to keeping the lab up and running. So two really big developments that I just wanted to make you aware of as we start our Friday and head into the weekend. I hope you guys are all having a great day and have maybe some fun plans for the weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in to Ellie and Space for these news updates. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Today we're gonna do the news in the voice of Gru. <clears throat>
Putin fires head of Russian space agency and huge shakeup. The girls won't believe this one. <laughs> I wish I could do the group voice. That was terrible. I'm sorry. Also, yeah, side note, I can't even believe it, but somehow I made it to being 30 years old and I had never seen Despicable Me. So I watched Despicable Me and now I'm pretty much all caught up. And I recently saw The Rise of Gru in theaters. Uh, I don't really go to the movies all that much, but my goodness, it was such a good movie. So, you know, fun and lighthearted and just really put a smile on my face. And when news can be so depressing lately, it is just nice to get out there and do something that makes you smile. So I don't care if you're an adult, you should definitely consider going to see this movie because it's a funny.